Hello YouTube, this is the Cronus Cat, and welcome to part 3 of my Let's Play Mega Man 1 on the NES. Now, last time we took down Gutsman, Cutman, and Delecman. This time we're going to take down Iceman next. So, yeah. Okay, so, it looks like we're in some kind of tropical paradise that Iceman's freezed over, which is kind of cool. But fuck Iceman, I like the sun. These things are really annoying because they have, like, you know, if you don't shoot them in the head, then they blow up, they come off and attack you. And now we're to the underwater segment, which is annoying because one, you get these bullet bill things, and two, you get these annoying things that can all be destroyed by your special weapons. And those things are fucking annoying because they suck. I'm just going to use the electric boom here. It's a lot easier, and it's the best weapon in the game, and it has a shit ton of weapon energy, and it can destroy the things that are annoying, it's just the best weapon to use. Um, but this stage is really annoying, it's one of the most annoying stages ever, and you'll find out why in just a minute once I get those pickups. Once I go down here. Down here, as more of the world famous fucking blocks. Disappearing and appearing and disappearing blocks. It's so frustrating. I hate it. This is the reason I actually know people who have stopped playing Mega Man games. I know some. I know I have a friend who actually refuses to play Mega Man solely because of these blocks. They frustrated him that much. But anyway, this this pattern is pretty annoying. Now after it, you've got more. And what's great is they're harder. And there's lots more of them. But unfortunately for me, I know the pattern. I actually know it better than I know the first one. I actually know this one. So, I'm not going to have any trouble here. There we go. Now this next part is so frustrating. I hate it. These platforms that you have to jump between and they try and shoot you. So I say fuck that and I'm going to use the magnet beam. Because I'm a cheap bastard. See, that is much easier than having to jump across these platforms. Oh crap. Don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die. Okay. Now... Oh my god. Right, okay. Now, we're gonna go across the magnet beam. And that's it. That's the hardest part. That is the hardest part in Mega Man 1. That alone is the hardest part in this game. I hate it. Anyway, now we're going to go fight against Iceman. Oh, wait, before we have to get past this cunt first. I really hate these things, seriously. Like, you can't even avoid them in time. It's ridiculous. Anyway. Iceman's up next. And he is... He's supposed to be hard, but he's ridiculously easy, because I'm going to use something... a cheat, known as the Poise Trick. It can only be used with Electman's weapon, and it's awesome. Now a lot of people say this isn't in the Anniversary Collection Edition, but it is, because I'm going to use it right now. Watch this. This will have him down for the count so easily. Oh, I missed. Fuck. Okay. Let's try again. Watch this. There you go. Dead. Basically what the Pudge Trick does is it allows you to cheat. And it allows your electric beam to hit multiple times when you fire it once. So. Yeah, I'm gonna use that. Because I'm a cheating bastard. Okay, so now that we've defeated Iceman, we're going to go for Fireman next. Who, like I said before, is somehow weak to ice. I will never understand. Maybe it's because the ice melts and then turns into water. But you know, as far as I was aware, from what I learned in basic chemistry, fire melted ice and was therefore stronger than ice. But, you know, I don't know, whatever, I don't know. Anyway, this stage is a. This, I hate this stage. I absolutely despise this stage. Not because it's frustrating, it's just. It's not actually as frustrating as a light man's or ice man's stage. It's just really hard. It's just a really difficult stage. It's just it's not it's just hard. 
a lot of pitfalls. These fire stick things are annoying, but however, you can do this. Which makes them a little bit easier to get by, but still really annoying. And this thing, oh my god, these, this thing here, like, you can't avoid that. No matter how hard you try, you can't avoid that. I challenge anyone to try. Um, but, at least they're nice enough to give me all these health pickups here, which makes up for the... But then I fell into a fire stick anyway and lost it. And these fireball things? Fuck me, these fireball things are really annoying. Because they do that. Fuck. Anyway. But I'll respawn here on the second platform. I don't know why. Maybe they were being nice. Who knows. Anyway. Um, as for Fireman, yeah, Fireman is easily the hardest boss in the game. It's the hardest of the Robot Master bosses anyway. Because he attacks you like a maniac. You, you don't get a chance to avoid his attacks at all. You, you, no matter what you do against Fireman, you're going to get hit. Doesn't matter what you do, he will hit you. Even with Aceman's weapon, Fireman is really, really difficult. Now, this thing here is going to hit you, unless you have the Magnet Beam. So, again, the Magnet Beam saved my ass. I would be lost without the beloved Magnet Beam that I love so much. Okay. Now, we're almost at the end of the stage. I killed that thing, I don't care what anyone says, I killed it, you saw it on screen, I killed the thing, it's dead. But it came back to life. Okay. Oh my god. Okay. There we go. We have reached Fireman. So now, after I kill these things, I don't want them to shoot me because I need my health really badly. But they're going to hit me anyway, so there's not much I can do about that. <sighs> you know what? I should have just done that. It's not like I'm going to be using that in this fight anyway. Or for any of the game at all, because it's a crap weapon. Anyway, so now we meet Fireman, and right now you will understand exactly what I mean by he doesn't stop attacking. Watch this. No matter what you do, he's gonna hit you. Doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what you do, how you time your jumps, Fireman will hit you. And how nice of the game to respawn me at this thing. Right under it, where it can hit me with its magical bullets that seem to never miss. Anyway, I apologise for seeming frustrated. I'm just annoyed because I tried recording this level before and I died about 50 times. I died like twice. But yeah, you know, I fucked up. But, so I don't want to fuck up again. Okay. I have full health and I have a decent amount of ammo to defeat Fireman. Hopefully, this will get him. I'm going to use his strategy. There we go. He's dead. And for defeating Fireman, you get some kind of fire blast thing that isn't the thing he used. He, he never used this attack that you get. But, you know, whatever. So anyway, now that Fireman has been defeated, we are now free to go on to the Dr. Wily stages. However, I'm not going to cover them in this part, I'll do that next time. So, that's it for part 3 of Let's Play Mega Man 1 on the NES. I hope you enjoyed part 3 and uh, look forward to part 4. Part 4 will be up tomorrow night and yeah, so once part 4 is done that will probably be me. So I hope you enjoyed my Let's Play so far and I hope you, you know, please subscribe if you enjoy my Let's Plays and um, I look forward to making more videos. So this is the Kronos Cat signing off.